Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand. I'm meteorologist Carl Bonak and on the 24th Tuesday, the official high 65, the low as of late afternoon 50, put it all together five and a half degrees below the long term average. And it was wet across much of Upper Michigan. In fact, some big rains, for instance, at Watton, 1.65 inches came down in Barriga County, northwest of Iron Mountain, at Iron, Iron River, I should say, Mineral Hills had two and a quarter inches. The National Weather Service site had just over two inches. Much of it fell in a rather short period of time last night before midnight. And Newberry during the day had 81 hundredths of an inch, three quarters of an inch in one hour. It looks like the uh, unsettled cool weather will continue at least for parts of the upper peninsula because we have a trough or dip in the upper level winds that supports the cool showery weather that should continue over parts of the south and east at least into part of Wednesday. By Friday it looks like a big ridge will start to build as a new trough develops off to the west. That means warmer air and eventually more humid as we head into the weekend. This is the way it looks on Wednesday. Look for a lot of clouds to start the day, though gradually the clouds should break up from the northwest slowly to the southeast and some showers will likely continue at least scattered about in parts of the south and east for a portion of the day. Look for northeast winds to gradually bring in drier air. It'll also be cool, especially cool along Lake Superior in the north. Highs may not get out of the 60 degree range in places like Houghton, also at Marquette and Munising, then in the lower 60s around Newberry, into Escanaba, mid to upper 60s around Iron Mountain, only around 60 because of some partial clearing late in the day at Ironwood. Then on Thursday, high pressure, a rather strong one, will be moving just to our north and east. That means a lot of sunshine. It should be a pleasant day. One of those UP summer days with a cool start and then temperatures will warm up because of late June sunshine. Your TV six day forecast. Look for high temperatures to recover after a cool start. 60s north, 70s south on Thursday. Then on Friday up into the 70s if not near 80 in some parts along the Wisconsin line. Over the weekend it looks like summer with warm temperatures and increasing humidity, along with an increasing chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially Saturday night and Sunday.